Hey guys, my name is Delta Koch, and today I would like to share with you something very cool I am working on for version 4.1. Let's switch directly to the screen. So, here is a just regular playground that you guys can test by the way. Um, I'm gonna share in the comment of this video the specific link. Here uh, we have a, a running example of the node material. So let's have a look here. The node material is a new feature of 4.1 where you guys will be able to create your own shader without having to type the shader code. So here I am creating a new babylon.node material and this node material will have some specific features. I will embed more target block, support for bones. I also want to have a um, color multiplier that will multiply a specific color input by the multiplication of two other blocks. Here, what we can feel is that it's okay, the, uh, Delta Kosh, it's cool because we don't have to write a specific shader, but the problem is I still have to write all this code and that could be um, problematic. So that's why we are also adding for 4.1 a new cool feature, the node material editor. So here in the inspector, when you pick the node material, you will have a new button named edit. When you click on edit, <coughs> you will be able to see the node material in a more uh, UI-oriented way. So let me try to have everything that fits together here. This is the node material I was describing before, but from a more uh, visual standpoint. So let's first zoom in so we can see that as before, we now have a morph target, as I mentioned, which is used with a bonds, and they are both generating the wall position then I multiply the wall position by the view matrix and I output the vertex. So it's visually simple. On the pixel side, I am reading two textures here. I am also reading a random color, actually, sorry, not random color, a red color. And I multiply everyone here by a fog block and then I output the final result. Pretty cool. And you're going to see it's live and dynamic. So let me try to close the inspector here to keep only my walking guy okay if i go to my shader here and say okay you know what i don't really care about the, the red color let me remove the red color here so i don't need my red color i don't also need my color multiplier and i will definitely just take my two textures multiply them and directly bring them inside the fog object here and see now live i don't have the red tint on my node material i just have the multiplication of two color of two textures you don't want multiplication of two textures, no big deal. Let me remove the first texture and the color multiplier and just bring here my texture into the fog. Boom, and it works. You don't want the fog, okay. Let me remove it here and directly, actually I don't need the fog color, the fog color and the view. And just, I don't have a lot of space. Just connect my texture here. Wonderful, right? And you can do that with a lot of, um, blocks. We have blocks for almost everything in Babylon JS. At the very end, when 4.1 will be released, we hope that the node material here will be able to create any kind of shader, even the more complicated shader like the one we have inside Babylon JS, like the standard material, for instance. So I hope you like it. Remember, it's only a um, work in progress, but I wanted to share that with you because I am quite excited. The um, UI is pretty good, but we are still working on it. We're gonna uh, share more later on. If you want to try it, just go to this specific URL here, which is playground.com, and the number is hash4i3sir. Hope you like it. See you guys. Bye.